It is very true that many people are struggling to fight panic and anxiety attacks every day. And since overcoming it takes a lot of effort and commitment, people are looking for a way to end the anxiety attacks and panic attacks quickly. But because this disorder stems from the experience you've had, biology and personality, getting rid of it immediately is quite very impossible to accomplish. But that doesn't mean that controlling it and handling it is impossible, it just means you need some great tips so that you can fight this disorder properly. Run and jog the number one method that you must follow to end anxiety attacks and panic attacks is by having a regular run or jog. If your health will allow it, you need to make physical activities like jogging every day your number one priority. While it may look like it is not a very big deal, but having too much physical energy can contribute in battling this disorder during an episode. Most people who do not exercise are unhealthy that leads to hormone fluctuations. Unused muscles also contribute in making your muscles more tense and unrelaxed, that will lead to higher anxiety levels. Moreover, if you are able to jog or exercise is beneficial to your health because it can release more endorphins that helps relax to your body and reduce cortisol levels and as well as improve your health condition. Breathing properly this technique that people usually ignore is the only method that can greatly contribute to end anxiety attacks and panic attacks. People who usually suffer from this disorder tend to have hyperventilation issues. But because stress and anxiety can cause your body to breathe faster, your body will then focus too much on your breathing and bring more air that your body does not need. It's true that hyperventilation is a bit fascinating because it causes you to inhale more oxygen and exhale more carbon dioxide, but it can worsen the symptoms of this disorder. The best thing you can do is to retrain your breathing and practice various breathing exercises that can help you during an episode. And if you will be able to do these exercises every day for at least 15 to 30 minutes daily, you will have a better chance of managing this disorder.